Elon Musk's Starship, the largest flying object we've ever made and the world's most powerful rocket, is about to launch to space. It could change the world if it works. Keeping up with all of this can be really overwhelming, so here's everything you need to know ahead of the next launch, including when it is, what to expect, and of course, why you should care. Also, you can be the most knowledgeable person in the room. Okay, first and foremost, when is the launch? Well, weirdly enough, we have Kanye West to thank for this information. Yeah, this Kanye. So a few weeks ago, Kanye tweeted this, and Elon, being Elon, responded with this. We're coming up on the end of that third week, so it's likely to happen soon, and updated information says hopefully before March 8th, if not the week after. We don't have a specific launch day yet because launch dates are pretty finicky things, but I'll keep you guys up to date. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. Now, what should you expect during launch? Starship launches out of SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, and you can actually just go there and see them building Starship and even launch it. And that is hopefully where I plan to be, fingers crossed. The first thing you'll notice is how absolutely gigantic Starship is. At nearly 400 feet tall, it's taller than the Statue of Liberty and Big Ben, and about as tall as the Pyramid of Giza. To get this giant rocket off the ground requires a lot of thrust. In fact, there are 33 engines on Starship that generate 17 million pounds of thrust. This is over twice as much as the Saturn V. At roughly three minutes into the flight, the super heavy booster detaches from Starship itself. This is assuming that SpaceX can still steer the rocket. Unfortunately, this is where everything started to go wrong on the first flight test in April of 2023. With too many engines not working, the rocket started tumbling, eventually leading to a forced detonation somewhere over the Gulf of Mexico. They solved this issue for the second test flight in November of 2023, but unfortunately on the booster's descent, it did explode. The goal here is to successfully recover this booster and reuse them just like they do for Falcon 9. Now, while a booster has been doing its thing, Starship has still been going to space. So Starship has six engines on board that are propelling it into space as we speak. This is where the second test flight ended with a bang. Starship exploded right before it got to orbit on test flight number two because they vented some excess oxygen that actually caused a fire. Because Starship has yet to reach orbit, that will be the biggest milestone for this mission. And they do have some other goals, but those are all secondary. So one of the other goals is they wanna test out their huge payload bay door, which will eventually spit out Starlink satellites like a Pez dispenser. And then once they're done in orbit, the last goal is to safely deorbit it to prove that they can reliably do so. I honestly don't think we're gonna get to this next part in this test flight, but in case we do, Starship's landing procedure is wild. It comes back down to Earth in a belly flop before its engines flip it upright again for landing. And eventually they wanna catch the ship with huge metal chopsticks on the launch tower. Yes, literally catch it midair so that they can pick it up and put it back on top of the booster. If they are able to achieve this, and this is a wild feat of engineering, then that will dramatically reduce the time needed between each flight. And Elon wants to fly these multiple times a day. Which brings me to my next point. Why should you care about Starship? The name of the game is reusability. Over the last decade, we've seen an exponential increase in how many satellites we're launching to space. Satellites that bring us things like global internet and more data about climate change. This is largely thanks to SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket becoming reusable in December of 2015. The correlation here is insane to me. Falcon 9 is great for low Earth orbit. It's the cheapest option and it flies all the time, but it can only do so much. And if we wanna send more things to space, including crew and cargo to the moon and Mars, enough to set up a base, we need a bigger rocket. That's where Starship comes in. Starship aims to be the first fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the moon, Mars, and beyond. It can carry significantly more to all of those destinations than any other rocket in history, including up to 100 people on long duration interplanetary flights. But I will say, I still think we're really far away from sending people to Mars without severe health issues. There's a lot of ways we can combat this, but we're just not there yet. Let me know if you want a video on that. And it's going to be a lot cheaper than anything else on the market because it's mass manufactured and it's going to be able to carry more in one launch than ever before. Which in turn will unlock new space activities that better life on Earth, including in-space manufacturing, space-based solar power, and even better global connectivity. Now, if you have any questions, and I'm sure you do because this is just scratching the surface on Starship as a whole, drop them in the comments and I'll either reply or make a shorts video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications.